Support for Just Seen It comes from Fandor, dedicated to supporting independent films and filmmakers. Movies from around the world are available at fandor.com slash ptv. Fandor, all for film. Captain Steve Rogers struggles to live in the modern world. You do anything fun Saturday night? Well, all the guys in my barbershop quartet are dead, so... No, not really. After a S.H.I.E.L.D. member is attacked, he is entangled in a dangerous mystery. S.H.I.E.L.D. takes the world as it is, not as we'd like it to be. This isn't freedom. This is fear. The Captain will face an enemy unlike ever before in Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Hi, I'm Zoriana, and I'm here with Aaron and Scott, and we're here to talk about Captain America, The Winter Soldier. We've all just seen it. Scott, tell me about this Marvel movie, which is the most action-packed film out of any Marvel movie. I gotta tell you, I expected Captain America, The Winter Soldier to be fun and entertaining. I did not expect it to be fantastic. This movie was more of an ensemble, almost like a mini Avengers film, because you have Captain America, you have Black Widow, you have Nick Fury, and you also have a new character, The Falcon, played by Anthony Mackie. But what really sets this apart from the other Marvel films is the story is more grounded, unlike the Avengers, where you had invading aliens. This movie is more political. It's like a political thriller with superheroes. I was intrigued by this film going into it because the first one was set, it was a period piece. Yeah. So I thought, well, how are they gonna update it here? Because all the other characters in the Avengers go back to something. Mm. Iron Man goes back to his Malibu mansion and Pepper Potts. You know, they all they all have something to go back to, but this guy doesn't. I mean, he's from the 1930s. He doesn't have a home, a girlfriend, a house to go back to. So naturally, he would go back to S.H.I.E.L.D. But the other thing about Captain America, The Winter Soldier, is that Chris Evans, after he played Captain America in the first Avenger and in the Avengers, and he also had that cameo in Thor The Dark World, it is really obvious that he's much more confident playing Captain America this time. Tell him I'm in pursuit. The thing about Marvel movies with me is that I know they're going to be derivative. They're all going to feel the same because they're all superhero movies. So what I want out of a Marvel movie now is an interesting story, something that is beyond the norm, a twist of some kind, and then especially because there's so much interconnectivity between all these movies, I want a real world or, you know, a real impact in the Marvel universe. Sure. And this film fulfills all of those things that I wanted. This is kind of a hand-to-hand -hand superhero. It's not. Oh, yeah. It's not someone who lives like in the Norse god universe. It's. It's. And he always stands for good. Too. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. He's he is all American, and so that the character itself is grounded, and so it brings the story to this more realistic level. Yeah. And so the first half is a political thriller. It's like a whodunit. We're trying to figure out this great big mystery, and then about halfway through, once we know that. It just sets off on that great Marvel adventure yeah. that we all know and with, love. With amazing action, amazing special effects, and, and Chris Evans as our lead, Captain America, you feel for him, you know, he, he goes through a lot as a character in this film, and he's always believable, he handles the action very well, which is very hand-to-hand, -hand, more so than in the original. It's very brutal, very rough, he does it very, very well, and I, I was thoroughly impressed. I'm looking forward to Avengers 2 to see him with everyone else again. Hey, Cap! How do we know the good guys from the bad guys? If they're shooting at you, they're bad. Whoa! Hey, Cap! I found those bad guys you were talking about. I want to talk about Anthony Mackie because finally he he has found something where the world or Hollywood has found a place for him because he was so good in The Hurt Locker. Mm -hmm. And I always wondered why he never sort of sustained that. He was so good and he just never found any follow-up roles. And he is terrific As in the this. He is yeah. He's fantastic. terrific. Add some and it's nice just, humor. He, yeah. he, he, he is a great addition. We do have to give credit to the two men behind the camera. The Russo Joe brothers, Russo brothers, yeah. So. Amazing, amazing job. They have a very interesting pedigree. They've both directed several episodes of Community. Um, Arrested they, Development. Yes, they also directed the film You, Me, and Dupree, which didn't have the best reception. Welcome yeah. to Collinwood from 12 years oh, ago. Yes, yes, that yeah, too. Well, yeah. you got to hand it to Marvel. They tend to pick these directors that are 
like really out of the box thinking is what it is. John Favreau, best known for Swingers and Elf and acting. You know, no one thought that he would be directing an action movie. Kenneth Branagh, he's the Shakespeare guy. Joss Whedon was a brand unto himself. It also makes sure that Marvel will will not fall into a formula. They won't be conventional. That these are directors that that have their own voices and visions, and they take chances. So these movies do stand out from each other. Because yeah. otherwise, it's very easy to get them confused. The film's not even out yet. The buzz is so strong, not only have they signed on the Russo brothers for the third film, but they've also announced that the third film is going to be released on the day of the Batman versus Superman movie. And so I think they realize how good this movie is and how much of an impact it has on everything else in the Marvel Universe. And it's gonna change things for all viewers. And I just, it's, it's very exciting. This is such a fully integrated Marvel film on all levels, emotionally, action-wise. It's a near perfect film, so see it. This is the best Marvel movie since The Avengers. See it. Marvel does it again. God bless Captain America indeed. See it. Cheers! Cheers. To America! Avengers assemble. Kobe, in the words of Albert Schweitzer, I fancy you. AJA Video Systems, proud supporter of Just Seen It, offers a wide range of professional acquisition and post-production solutions. Learn more at aja.com/ptv.